In today's episode, you'll see me riding my bicycle in my neighborhood. But before that, let's begin with a coffee from Tesso Bakery. And because I feel a little hungry, I think I'm going to have myself a snack. Tolori, why don't you put in a snack for me? There you go, buddy. That one. Exactly. Uh, and because I'm in a health mood today, I'm going to have myself a fresh juice. What's up everyone? Good morning. Johnny for Travel Life. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the like button on the videos so we can be shown on YouTube. In today's episode, I'm going to cycle my bicycle, my mountain bike over here. And it just goes to show you a nice hillside in the Vula area in case you are visiting Athens and uh, you're in the southern suburbs in the Vulakmeni area, Vari, Vula and uh, today you're gonna see a route of uh, a route that I recommend as a local growing up in this area to get away a little bit from things and uh, enjoy a nice little route with your bicycle uh, I do suggest this for mountain biking this route it's nice for mountain biking because of uh, a little bit of the surface so let's carry on uh, starting point is about 45 meter in altitude above sea level which is around uh, roughly 160 feet And the trail is about uh, to go around the mountain, around the hill, 3.2 kilometers, which is about two miles, give or take. But today I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna take a couple shortcuts because when you're on a mountain bike, what more fun than shortcuts like these? If you wonder about these little trees here, of course like many forests in this beautiful country have been burned down. This one is no exception. And uh, back in uh, now it's currently 2023, 2014 a group of volunteers planted over 10,000 trees. So when a forest gets burned down, it takes forever to go back but let's not focus on uh, sad things today it's still a happy day it's beautiful even these little baby trees everything is beautiful I'm enjoying this day I hope you guys are too and let's carry on with this mountain bike trail and uh, as a typical uh, Greek uh, you can't go anywhere without coffee I mean, I didn't even bring water with me, but I did bring coffee, my Freddo Espresso, uh, which I got from uh, Tesso Coffee in my neighborhood at the beginning of the video. Start your day with uh, Tesso Coffee. Their coffee really is amazing. In 
and uh, we're just chilling today, huh? we're just cruising. We're cycling uh, in the hood. So to recap, if you guys are planning on visiting uh, Greece and uh, you know, there's so many activities you guys want to do, maybe rent bicycles. I mean, nowadays with uh, modern technology, it's so easy just to rent a bicycle, a mountain bike, whatever it is. This route, again, is suggested for mountain biking and it's also great for walking. It's not that long, it takes about 40 minutes just to walk around. Again, if you do it the circle way, you know, if you go, if you do it the circuit way, you go around. But uh, it's always nice to stop and check out a little bit around. So I hope you like this place. I like it. So if you guys are watching the video until now, and you're enjoying it let me know in the comment section what you think of this route so far what it looks like what do you think of the scenery you enjoy it now somewhere here I hear roosters And over here, our volunteers patrolling, our firefighters patrolling the forest to make sure everything's okay. Thanks. Thank you for taking care of this place, guys. So, let's go see our chicken friends. Take a look at these guys. Oh, asparagus. Oh yeah, baby. Doesn't get more fresh than this. Superfood, baby. I'm telling you, these routes really are interesting. These trails. Hey, chickens. Travel life is here for the rescue. Say hello to everyone. Wow, roosters. Beautiful guys. I'm happy to see you too, buddy. If you guys in general like this type of uh, stuff, this outdoor activity type of stuff uh, from an amateur viewpoint, I'll link uh, to this video, my previous video with the hiking trail in Imitos Mountain. So you can see that in case you haven't uh, seen it. So we're starting to go up to the top of this hill. Here we are, made it to the top. Sick views. So we started at about 43 meters down at the start, about 160 feet, and made it up to 131 meters, roughly 430 feet. Check out the view now. Big city view of Athens right there. Look at the sea. That's Imitos Mountain right there. That's the southern view of it. This little bench here to chill. Have a snack. Have a water, have a soft drink juice, whatever you're carrying with you. 
water reserves and a little lookout, a little lookout hut over here. Which, uh, it's not really that awesome. I'm not gonna go in, I'm just gonna like show you like this. It's, it's pretty busted. Trash. In case you guys don't know what this thing here is, this thing right here, this is called a trash can. That's right, throw your trash in there, man. Now as for uh, my recommendations on what to bring along on a, on a little uh, trail like this, a little getaway, a little escape plan, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's a little escape plan. Of course, always bring water with you in times like these. I didn't. I mean, but I live a little bit down, but it doesn't matter. Always have water with you. If you're on a bicycle, which I didn't also, always have a pump with you and an extra tube. You never know when, the, when it can come in handy. Because me now, if my tire decides to pump, I'm gonna have to push the little guy back home. This side, uh, this hill is called Pefkotos. Pef Pefko basically means uh, pine tree in Greek. So it's piney tree, I don't know what you want to call it. Let's call it a piney tree. Uh, it's a little hillside. It's not that, you know, it's not that, it's not that difficult to go with a bicycle. It's pretty easy and it's very enjoyable as well. And the views are very nice. And the good thing is it's not really busy with people. And I love that. I love going to places where there's not many people, to be honest. To places, even with this blogging thing, it's just better, you know, when people don't look at you and be like, who's that idiot with the camera and stuff like that. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it please please give it a like uh, if you really enjoyed it share it you know talk about it with your friends uh, maybe someone else would like to see it and always open to suggestions uh, if you'd like to see anything else or recommend another topic you know just if it's possible I'll try to to implement such a task. Now, I remember in this other video, in the Athens writing video, I mentioned that the view up there in Panorama was my favorite place and stuff like that. Well, uh, you know, years go by and I forget sometimes, but this here is by far my favorite spot. And if any friends from ACS from school are watching, any of my friends, any of my friends are watching. Shout out if you remember my fifth grade birthday party when we bought pizzas and we chilled here. Remember guys? Remember this place? You're over here. It's like, it's like a natural picnic area. It's like a natural picnic area. And you just chill here. Boom. Enjoy that view, man. Take it in. Look at that. I'm gonna chill here now. I'm gonna chill here for a while. Just like uh, relax a little bit. This is a little spot here. This is the best place to get away. This is perfect for a picnic. You name it, you name it. If you're a teenager watching this channel, bring your teenage girlfriend here. She's gonna be impressed. She's gonna be impressed. And if she's not impressed, then I don't know what's wrong with you. New generation, you're into video games and stuff, but this stuff here, priceless.
priceless. Enjoy it while you have it. Enjoy it while it lasts because in the near future, I would like to say that these places will still be around, or maybe not. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.